The new year is right around the corner, believe it or not, mm -hmm. and that means the return of a Philly tradition, the Mummers Parade. They'll be practicing their routines, but there's another type of training going on as well. Nicole Brewer joins us now to tell us more about that. Yeah, nothing says Philly like the New Year's mm -hmm. Day and Mummers Parade. It's a big tradition here, but before they march to the beat of their own drum, organizers want Mummers to see what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. The idea here is to create an atmosphere that's more culturally aware and a parade that's less likely to offend. From the sound of the string bands to the fancy strut in their step, the Mummer's Day Parade requires months of preparation and for the first time some training in cultural sensitivity. Well, I think it's a great idea. I don't think it can hurt. The Mummers themselves wanted to do this. George Beatty, chairman of Love the Mummers and tenor saxophonist for the Fralinger String Band, says their hope is to grow the organization in a way that reflects the diverse culture of Philadelphia. The parade is going to survive and thrive through the 21st century and beyond. We need to be more inclusive and that's our goal and our aim. That's why the organization is encouraging its members to watch three training videos posted to its website covering cultural appropriation, LGBT issues and satire. I think education is definitely the first step. If they want to participate, they should have to go through some sort of training. But, you know, it shouldn't limit the uh, ability for somebody to express. Mummers want to do the right thing. Mummers are out there to have a good time. It's a family oriented parade. A centuries old Philadelphia tradition that was slightly tainted last year when video surfaced of a mummer screaming homophobic insults after taking part in a parody of Caitlyn Jenner's gender transition. You know, some person, some drunken person on the street said some stupid things. That's not reflective of mummers and is completely unfair to broad brush all of mummers. And while there's only so much the mummers organization can control, parade organizers and city officials will now pre-screen the program skits and costumes before they make their way to broad. I think that could definitely be deemed a censorship. Before anything goes to get published in the newspaper, it goes through editing. You're nipping it in the bud before it gets to become controversial. So you set the example, the adults set the example for the new ones coming along, the tradition will go on for another 100 years. Now, Beatty says groups that don't comply with suggested changes will not be eligible to compete. And if someone decides to go rogue, they face even harsher punishment. So they're really cracking mm -hmm. down because they want to set a good example and they want to have a positive image. That's the way to do it. Mm -hmm. We'll be here before we know mm -hmm. it. Yeah, thanks, thanks Nicole. Appreciate it.